It is now time to meet these winners in person. I would like to invite Deputy Secretary General Haolin Zhao, who is also Secretary General-elect, to join me here at the stage to present the awards. The first category is an ICT Applications and Content for Social Empowerment and Sustainable Development. And the winner is UNESCO, Women in Africa History, e-learning from Africa. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I'm uh, deeply honored to be here. And on behalf of UNESCO, I accept the Gem Tech Award as recognition of the importance we ascribe, along with UN Women and ITU, to empowering girls and women through the new information and communication technologies. Nobody tells the story that African women are at the forefront of development said Dr. Zuma, chairperson of the African Union Commission. This is precisely the goal of UNESCO, Women in African History, an e-learning tool to tell this story, drawing on the full potential of the new technology. The e-learning tool brings together so much that is essential to UNESCO. Our two global priorities, Africa and gender equality, and the use of new information and communication technologies, including open educational resources for quality learning, li linking technology with heritage and local content and knowledge and history. These are all angles of UNESCO's work to strengthen human rights and dignity, to widen access to the creation and sharing of knowledge, to promote our common history as a basis for respect and mutual understanding. This fits into the UNESCO's flagship, the general history of Africa, and our work to take forward the pedagogical use of the general history of Africa. This e-learning tool is an opportunity to celebrate the women who have shaped Africa and who, in so doing, have changed the world. Each of them tells a story of resistance to tyranny and the struggle for human rights and dignity for the empowerment of girls and women. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank the government of Bulgaria for generously supporting the e-learning tool. I believe this award pays tribute to their leadership in advancing the priorities we share. I thank you very much. Congratulations. The next category is in ICT applications and content for economic empowerment and poverty reduction. And it goes to iMerit Technology Services from India.
안녕 하세요. 나마스테. 안녕하세요.안녕하세요.안녕하세요.안녕하세요.안녕하세요.안녕하세요.안녕하세요.안녕하세요.안녕하세요.안녕하세요.안녕하세요.안녕하세요.안녕하세요.안녕하세요.안
the technology industries and the technology professions is there for the corporates and there for academia. So let's start taking this seriously. Thank you all very much. Congratulations. The next category is enabling girls to become ICT creators. And the award goes to Research Center for Feminist Action from the Dominican Republic. Recibo este reconocimiento en nombre de Magali Pineda, fundadora y directora del Centro de Investigación para la Acción Femenina CIPAF de la República Dominicana. Una feminista innovadora y pionera en la promoción de las TIC como parte de la agenda política del movimiento feminista de la República Dominicana y de la región de América Latina y el Caribe, quien por motivos de salud no pudo estar aquí, pero que envió un mensaje claro y fuerte como es ella. Magali nos dice, y cito, agradezco la nominación del Indotel y la iniciativa de UIT y ONU Mujeres de establecer este reconocimiento y lo recibo con alegría en nombre de las niñas y mujeres dominicanas y de América Latina y el Caribe que sueñan y trabajan por un mundo sin violencia con justicia social, donde la igualdad entre hombres y mujeres sea una realidad. Las nuevas tecnologías de la información y la comunicación pueden contribuir a hacer realidad este sueño. Sí, iniciativas y proyectos como los clubes de supermáticas y e chicas y otras muchas de las que aquí se están presentando, se transforman con el compromiso y apoyo de los gobiernos y del sector privado en políticas públicas de impacto económico y social que garanticen el camino hacia una sociedad de la información inclusiva, equitativa e igualitaria. Muchísimas gracias. Congratulations. The next category is Closing the ICT Gender Gap, and it goes to Telesang Foundation from the Philippines. Thank you. I'm very uh, pleased and honored to be here representing the Global Telecenter community. Hundreds of thousands of organizations from around the globe that uh, provide critical service uh, for millions and millions of people that without them will have no access whatsoever to all the benefits and opportunity the ICT and internet enables. Um, the achievement of the work that we have done is, is, is a collective achievement. Uh, as I said, hundreds of organizations work uh, tirelessly every day to make ICT meaningful and useful for many, many people. 
I like also to uh, thank, especially to uh, ITU, for the continuous support that they have shown and to the initiative that the foundation is delivering. And especially because without their, without their help, we will not be able to reach as many countries as we are doing it today. Providing this support to one million women, yes, is a significant achievement. But in the big scheme of things, it's a very small step towards um, women equality. We need more help, we need more, more participation, and more importantly, we need you, all of you who are the builders of the um, information society to enable and create new opportunities for the continued participation of women in the ICT and, and creating a future and opportunities for their communities. Today, our work and the goal of building this um, information society is by no means finished. We still have more than 4.4 billion people every day that have no access to internet or ICT. We need your participation and you, you need, we need your support in enabling new opportunities for women. Most of those four billion people are women and without them, we cannot really build a serious future for this humanity. Thank you all and I would like to take this opportunity to take the Gem Tech Award as a call for actions, for joining new forces, for um, joining resources and make sure that in, in new uh, versions of this event, we will bring or also uh, representatives from the grassroots who, who are the ones actually making the difference and creating opportunities for women. Thank you very much. The next category is Building Online Confidence and Security. And the award goes to Association for Progressive Communications from South Africa. Thank you. I'm very happy and proud to receive this award on behalf of all the campaigners and partners of Take Back the Tech in more than 25 countries in the world. This is a huge moment for us um, in recognition of our work in places as diverse as Democratic Republic of Congo, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Pakistan, Colombia and the Philippines. When we first started the campaign in 2006, no one really spoke about violence against women online, even though it was increasingly becoming part of our experience of accessing and using the internet and ICTs. It is really through the commitment and activism of all of the campaigners in organizing actions, in documenting and creating content, in experimenting with new technologies, in sharing what they know, and in engaging with all stakeholders, including human rights groups, tech companies, um, and the government, that this issue is now becoming seriously recognized as a significant barrier to the participation of women and girls online, and that it needs serious attention. I hope that this award and this initiative will continue to empower the curiosity and the capacity of women and girls to take control of technology and to use it in playful, creative and strategic ways to end violence against women online and to transform the world that we live in. Thank you.
finally, the seventh category is in broadband policies to promote women's digital empowerment. And it goes to the Federal Ministry of Communication and Technology from Nigeria. Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, distinguished delegates, I'm delighted to receive this award on behalf of the Federal Government of Nigeria. Being one of the recipients of the Maiden Gemtech Awards from the ITU and UN Women is an important recognition and validation of President Jonathan's administration on gender inclusion and empowerment facilitated by information and communication technologies. It is now an empirical fact that there's an underrepresentation of women and girls in ICTs whether in terms of access, in terms of utilization or employment. There are many more men that are online than women, and the gap is even wider in developing economies such as Nigeria. Women account for fewer than 20% of ICT specialists in developing economies, where it is estimated that in 2015, 90% of formal employment across all sectors will require ICT skills. According to our last population census in 2006, Women make up 49% of the Nigerian population, and current estimates and future projections say that this will be the same going forward. In the light of the importance of information and communication technologies to national development, closing this gender digital divide has become a development priority for us in Nigeria. We cannot afford to exclude half our population from the benefits of ICT for development. Three flagship programs are helping us to make progress towards our quest to empower women through ICTs. Our Digital Girls Clubs in secondary schools is helping girls develop an early interest in computers and in the ICT sector in general. Our 1,000 Girls Program is building, building up the ICT skill set of select girl, group of unemployed girls to fill vacant IT jobs in the country. And our Smart Women Program is a platform for disseminating relevant and useful information to Nigerian women via their mobile phones. I must at this point thank our various partners that have worked closely with us to design and implement these programs. The Federal Minister of Finance for her gender-based budgeting allocations to support our programs, Women in Technology and Women Technology Empowerment Center, two NGOs that worked with us to develop the Digital Girls Online Curriculum, Huawei Technologies that has provided the facilitators and the physical venues for training young girls and finally, Women in Management and Business, an NGO that is providing the editorial services for content on the Smart Women platform. Finally, my thanks go to the ITU, UN Women and her partners. It is a great honor for our work to be recognized by these important multilateral organizations, and we are spurred to do even more. I wish you more success in your global quest to get more women and girls into ICTs. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary um, General Zhao. We have concluded our award ceremony. Congratulations to all our seven awardees. It feels like you are all beacons of light in the ICC sector for all women and girls around the globe. I hope that your organization serve as role models for many, many others to follow.